every day in the prayer requests that I receive, I receive a lot of prayer requests where people are wrestling with God. They're trying to win in such a way that they're going to knock down God until God can just lay there and listen. <laughs> well, God is listening all the time. We do not have to do that. And when we do, it says so much more about us than it does about God. We basically have two choices to make in dealing with the mysteries of God. We can wrestle with God or we can rest in God. Even the most faithful men and women can be overcome at times with occasional bouts of fear and occasional bouts of doubt. When those fears and doubts, when they begin to grow, what in the world should you do immediately? Now the answer is straightforward. Whenever you feel that your faith is being tested or pushed to the limits, then it's time to have a spiritual experience. Seek the comfort, the assurance, and the love of God. Even if you feel distant from God, and I talk to many people that when they're going through hard times, they say, I just feel as if God's not here. If they take time to pray, they realize again that God didn't go anywhere, that God is with them, that God is never distant from you or from them. To the contrary, God is always with you. And God is always ready to reassure you. I think that God loves to reassure you when you reach out to God and when you sincerely seek God's presence. God will comfort you and God will calm your fears. God will restore your faith in, in a tremendous way, increasing your faith. I pray right now that you have that type of spiritual experience. I pray that if you feel isolated, that you no longer do. That you feel surrounded and filled with the holy presence of God. I pray that the touch of God is upon you and that it causes you to have great strength. It motivates you up to do what you need to do, guided by the mind of God in doing it. I pray that you're blessed, and I pray that you know because of your faith, without a doubt, that God hasn't gone anywhere. God is right where you are right now. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.